embattled Liberal Senator Lucy Gajulhi was taken to court seven times for failing to pay $8,359 worth of council rates and $1,372 in water bills. Court documents obtained exclusively by Daily Mail Australia show the Kenyan-born federal MP faced legal action from City of Port Adelaide Enfield Council, Wyala City Council and the South Australian Water Corporation in 2013 and 2014. The Turnbull government senator, who is on a $203,000 salary, was ordered by local court magistrates to pay $9,731 in seven unpaid bills related to two investment properties in Adelaide and one in regional Wyala. Scroll down for video The backbencher, who owns four houses in South Australia with her husband William, had failed to pay $8,359 worth council rates and $1,372 in water bills. On her pecuniary interest register, Senator Gajuhi declares she is the owner of investment properties the Adelaide suburbs of Dernancourt and Gills Plains, along with another home in the steelworks city of Wyala. Share this article Share the senator and mother of three, who moved to Australia from Kenya in 1999, received five arrears from the Port of Adelaide Enfield Council and one from Wyala City Council, in areas where she owns three investment properties. Senator Gachuhi's chief of staff Mark Madri told Daily Mail Australia on Wednesday afternoon she was still paying off those debts. These are personal financial matters. The senator pays all of her debts, did not contest any of these matters, and is honoring any associated payment plans, he said in a statement. The 55-year-old senator, who joined the Liberal Party in February, lists a house in Mawson Lakes, in Adelaide's north, as her main residential address. She also owns a house in the Kenyan capital Nairobi, which houses her relatives, and two plots of land in the country of her birth which were declared on her pecuniary interest register. Whilst I am not aware of any other interest in real estate, I have arranged for searches to be done in Kenya to ensure that is the case," she said on her pecuniary interest register when she became a senator in May 2017. In her maiden speech to the Senate last year, she admitted she struggled to resist the lure of mortgages. We were not able to resist the offers of multiple loans a home loan, personal loans, car loans and credit cards," she said. The senator's eye for detail is already under scrutiny after she charged taxpayers $2,000 to fly family members to her 50th birthday plus GST party. Senator Gachuhi in October last year claimed $2,139 on the public purse for two return airfares from Darwin to Adelaide to celebrate a milestone that occurred in September 2012. She has, however, agreed to repay taxpayers with a 25% penalty added. Australia's first black African federal MP is already under fire for telling Kenyan television her $200,000 salary in a whole year was not a lot of money. On Wednesday, Sydney Breakfast Radio King Kyle Sandilands ridiculed this suggestion during a weekly segment with former Labour Senator Sam Distiari. On Kenyan radio where they're lucky to have three stones, the millionaire breakfast show star said. Senator Kachuhi's office, after two days, has still declined to explain to Daily Mail Australia why she claimed $7,675 in electorate businesses to visit Sydney in August, September, and November 2017 despite her being based in Adelaide. The revelations came to light as she faced a liberal pre-selection challenge for her coveted and winnable no. Three spot on the party's Senate ticket at next year's federal election. Taxpayer-funded entitlement claims, published by the Independent Parliamentary Expenses Authority, show Senator Kachuhi claimed $2,000 in tribal allowance from taxpayers between August 17 and 22, 2017 to visit Sydney. She claimed $400 a day from taxpayers during that period and another $405 in travel allowance for visiting Sydney for electorate businesses on September 11. In another set of controversial expenses claims, she billed taxpayers $2,769 to travel to Sydney on November 2. 
This electorate business is involved addressing an event with Christian radio station Hope 103. 2. MC'd by former state Liberal MP Stephen O'Doherty. Three weeks later, on November 25, she traveled to Sydney on electorate businesses to be a VIP guest speaker at the African Professionals Australia Gala at Parramatta in the city's west. The Christian conservative politician billed taxpayers $2,501 for travel allowance, car hire and travel for her husband. Senator Kichihi, who received just 152 primary votes at the 2016 election on the family first ticket, in May last year replaced Bob Day in Parliament after his bankruptcy made him ineligible to be an MP. The former independent senator joined the Liberal Party in February this year, six months after meeting former Liberal Prime Minister John Howard during her taxpayer-funded trip to Sydney in August.